Hi guys, today we are solving fourth maze problem of Geeks for Geeks problem of today. The problem's name is row with maximum one. So this is a medium problem. Let's see the problem statement. Given a Boolean 2D array of n into m dimension where each row is sorted, find the find the zero based index of the first row that has maximum number of ones. Zero based index means uh, that an array position starts from zero and goes on till n minus one. So we have to return that and not uh, according to what we generally do. Uh, that is, this is the first location, this is the second location, this is the third, this is the fourth. That is not what we have to return. We have to return it um, in the way that the array reads it. That is, this is the zeroth location, this is the first, second, and third. So uh, we have to return the row that has maximum number of ones um, and um, each row is sorted that is given in the question and we have to return the first row that has maximum number of ones. So it, it, even though if this uh, array had one, ones in all of the places in the last row, we return this as, return the index of this row as it is written that we have to return the zero base index of the first row that has maximum number of ones. I hope you guys are understanding and Let's see the example. N is given as four, M is given as four. And we iterated, we iterate I from a zero to index, that is the number of rows. And we iterate J, that is number of columns from the last element because that as it is sorted. So we check from the last and then uh, we know that if the one is ending here and the next is zero, one won't repeat again itself. So, um, in that way, we'll calculate the uh, one row which has maximum number of ones. So let's try to code it and we'll code it in Java. Now let's move on to the code. Initially, we write a base case where ARR is, if ARR is empty or n equals to, equals to zero, which means number of rows are only zeros, then we return zero. Else, if uh, int i equals to zero, this is what is for the row iteration, and we start j as discussed from the last location that is m minus one, and we take max row int max row as minus one. This is the variable that stores the index that we are going to return that is maximum row with maximum number of ones this is what you are going to return so initially we take it as a uh, minus one because we don't want to consider it as zero or else it would uh, miss it would uh, mess up with the calculation that we're going to do so let's run a while loop in this we're going to check if i is less than n as we are iterating i from zero to n and j is greater than equal to zero as j is starting from m minus one so it should run till zero so this is the loop and then we're going to check if arr i j equal to equal to one then we take max row as ith row and we decrement j else we increment i. So uh, this is what is happening. Let's try to compile it. Yes, so the output is two. If you want to see what is happening here, we can print it. This is the if condition. And max rows G I
So this is what we are going to check what is happening here. And the same we do in else condition as well so that we understand the dry run better. Let's try to run this. Um, yeah, now let's try to run this. In the if condition in the first iteration, we get zero to zero. That is J is at two. And then we move on to the next. Uh, then J is decreased and J is one. Now in the if condition, everything is zero. And the max row is still zero. That is the first row. Then we move on to the else condition because now at this location, we did not find zero here. Uh, we did not find one here, so we move on to the else condition. That is what we are checking here. If that is not true, we move on to the else. That is, we are incrementing the row. As we incremented the row, we are printing it that the rows number is one, but these two are zero. Now, in the else condition again, uh, we get uh, the second row as the maximum, and then uh, it continues to iterate through and then we get the output as two. So if you want to submit it, we just comment it out and submit it. Hmm. So we are done. I see you again tomorrow. Thank you.